So anyway, yep, yeah, welcome back. Uh, I just got to this dungeon. And, uh, you know, I never realized how my pre-stream setup has evolved over the years to the point of madness. And so I'm gonna do a little feature tonight where I just tell you the things I have to do in order to start streaming. Which is a lot more than you'd expect. And, uh, if I didn't have it, like, totally muscle memory at this point, it would be... It would be a lot, uh, and I would f fuck it up and forget it. Anyway, your YouTube trial period is now over. That's my... my joke. You like it? I've been using it for a while now. That's part of the pre-stream setup. Both setting up YouTube and... Um... Remembering to turn it off. So, I've been really... Like, I, I've been busy as fuck lately, so I have not had much of a chance to, like, prep streams, which I don't have to lately, but, um, the past couple days we've been kind of burning them, the midnight oils, is that how they say it? In the, in the, in the music making space. And that's been fun, but it's, it's been a lot of work and I've been, I've been enjoying it though. So, but I haven't really had a whole lot of time to myself, so I pretty much just get home, eat, stream. So from there, what I do is, my initial setup is I have to open XSplit, which can sometimes be X shit. Now, I haven't updated XSplit in about five or six months because I was told that the one button doesn't make images larger again like it used to. So I haven't updated it, so I have to confirm, like I have to go through two options to confirm and then not update. Uh, but one of the things I use on the art segment that's very important is the one button, so I can press one, um, and it makes the in the image instantly bigger, so I have to check that out. Um, I might want to update soon, because they, they have some issues. Now, before I start XSplit, if I'm streaming something from the Switch or the PlayStation, I have to start that first. Because if XSplit's open, and then I try to stream something from my capture card, the thing crashes. So I have to remember that, otherwise my whole computer crashes because XSplit crashes and because XSplit... As much as I like it for some features, I know, I know it's garbage, I know people hate it. I don't hate it, but sometimes I do. So that's, um, the first couple steps. So then I load some instances of web browser. Several, in fact. So I have to open, um, the thing for Twitter. And then I have to open the thing for, um, Twitch and then YouTube. So I update Twitch first, I put the titles in, I give you a go live notification, which sometimes includes words like crust or scum, and then I copy-paste that over to YouTube, and then I add it to the title, and then I have to set it from private to public. It's a lot, it's a lot, and then I copy that over to the Twitter uh, page, which I then post. So after that's all set up, then I have to start my games, and um... Make sure I have enough space, so every day I have to check and see I have enough space on my, my drive. Because my, um, SSD, I have several, but my, my, uh, main SSD that, uh, is recorded to, I need to record to an SSD for maximum speed and quality. But it fills up, so I keep about a week's worth of stuff. So yeah, that's, that's just the, the setup to go live, and then after that I have to remember to turn the, sh the, the YouTube stream off. Otherwise, John Twitch is gonna fucking piss in my face. No, he doesn't do that. I don't even know who he is. Vinny, sounds like you need a better setup. How does one get a better setup? Vinny, why not automate some of this stuff? Well, it's a routine by now. It only takes about three or four minutes. It's just, I do it... So, I, I'm like a robot with it. I'm fast as fuck. Just get a better setup, forehead. I mean, a better setup would mean that I don't actually set a title myself. I guess. Better setup equals automate your shit. I wasn't asking for a solution. I mean, I appreciate- <laughs> appreciate it. What, like, so automate a thing that- That what? Like, that opens all the pages and then updates the titles for me? Then you don't talk about your problems if you don't want people to offer solutions, dingus. How about if I ask for a solution? I'll take the solution. This was supposed to be just a nice, light-hearted discussion. I guess I read the wrong chat messages today, huh? How about I automate the best chat messages for me? So, so that way I don't read- the ones that are like, hey, Finny, you use XSplit, you're an asshole. Finny, this is an automated message, keep up the good work. Okay, I like that message, that's good. 